Welcome to this introductory session. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Heat Exchanger Excel workbook. This is a valuable tool developed by WR Training to help you design and analyze the performance of your heat exchangers. It comprises of calculation spreadsheets and numerous valuable charts and diagrams. Here on the welcome page, you can see the summary of the main data and formulas being used. We will get back to that in a couple of minutes. For now, if you scroll down, you will see instructions of how to use the workbook. Basically, input data should be entered in yellow cells with a red border. The units of measurement must match with those indicated in the workbook. In this example, pressure should be expressed in bar. The Excel program displays the results in green cells with a black border. In this example, the calculated heat transfer coefficient is seen here with its corresponding unit of measurement. Now, this workbook includes Visual Basic for application function subroutines. Macros must be enabled for them to work. Macros are essentially used whenever iterative processes are needed to solve an equation or a set of equations. This is indicated by a red button next to your data entry cells when applicable. In this case, after specifying your input, you will need to click on the red button to launch the iteration process. In addition, in some particular cases, we have included a convergence graph to help you check the result accuracy. Do not use the result of a calculation if the result continues to fluctuate even after multiple iterations. Here we are showing you a correct result for the friction factor. As seen here, the friction factor has converged after a couple of iterations. The value has stabilized around 002. This means that the iterative process was successful. As a consequence, you can use the value of 002 for the friction factor in this specific example. Now, scrolling down a little bit further, you will see other valuable products from WR Training. The Chemical Engineer's Reference Folder. The Flow of Fluids Excel Workbook. And the Centrifugal Compressor Excel Workbook. You can click on Table of Content to have more detail, or simply on Buy Now, to purchase these valuable engineering tools. You can also visit our website by clicking on our logo, or drop us an email on contact at wrtraining.org. Let's now go through the various spreadsheets. First thing to know, we have arranged this tool into two sections. The first section is a collection of calculation spreadsheets, where all the formulas relative to heat exchangers are built right in. The second section is a collection of valuable charts and diagrams. Let's have a closer look at each section. To access the calculation spreadsheets, click on the button, go to list of sheets. This will bring you to the following index. Here is a summary of all the formulas included in the workbook. Now, I'm not going to go through each formula, but will only work you through one example, for the sake of demonstration. For example, let's suppose that we want to know what the TEMA standards recommend in terms of design and dimensions for a given heat exchanger. To do that, we will need to scroll down and click on geometrical data of shell and tube heat exchangers. This will bring us to the following spreadsheet. In this example, in order to access the TEMA recommendations, we will need to specify four parameters. These are the type of exchanger head, the shell nominal size, the tube outside diameter, and the number of tube passes. Let's suppose that we have a shell and tube heat exchanger with a stationary head. A shell nominal size of 200 mm. A tube outside diameter of 16 mm. And four tube passes. If you scroll down, you will see all the recommended design and dimensions according to the latest TEMA standards. For example, in our case, TEMA recommends a triangular pitch for the tube layout.
Let's now have a closer look at the second section of the workbook, that includes charts and diagrams. To do that, we can either go back to the welcome page and select charts and diagrams. Or simply click here on the button go to a list of charts. This will bring us to the following chart index. Here again, I'm not going to go through each diagram, but will only walk you through one example. For the sake of demonstration, let's suppose that we need to design a shell and tube heat exchanger, and we need guidelines regarding the best configuration for our application. In this case, we will click on heat exchanger selection guidelines, and then answer the various questions of the following chart. Will the heat exchanger be exposed to several thermal stresses? If the answer is no, then we can proceed and answer the next question. Do we expect severe fouling on the inside? And so on, until we finally determine which configuration is best suited for our application. So this was a quick overview of the Heat Exchanger Excel workbook. It is quite simple and has an intuitive user interface. We hope that you will like it and find it useful to solve daily heat exchanger problems. For more detail on this exchanger workbook or other WR training products, such as the Flow of Fluids Excel workbook, the Chemical Engineers Reference Folder, or the Centrifugal Compressor Excel workbook, please visit our website or drop us an email on contact at wrtraining.org. Thank you for watching.